Welcome to Home Show Expo 2011. I'm Sharon Rooney. And I'm Brandon Klingy. Beginning Friday, July 22nd and running for 10 days straight, the Home Builders Association of Greater Des Moines will proudly present its Home Show Expo, this year in Altoona, Iowa. That's right, 10 homes featuring the craftsmanship of nine talented home builders will be open to the public. You'll see every style from European farmhouse to a contemporary loft style to French country. In this next half hour, we'll introduce you to some of the builders of Home Show Expo, give you a behind the scenes look at the homes, and tell you all about the amenities that are attracting home buyers to the Altoona area. Well, and as you can see, we are shooting ahead of schedule, so the homes will not be completely finished, not the video that you're seeing, but when you come out, it'll be all decorated and beautifully furnished. But let's get started with home number one at the Expo. Someone new to the Expo this year is Brian Hooger, owner of Covenant Homes. Now it's your first Expo, but obviously this is not your first home building experience. As a matter of fact, you grew up in this industry. I did. Uh, both my uncle and his father were in the industry back in my hometown in central Iowa. And uh, so I grew up with it around age 16 is when I started and uh, just kind of stayed with it all the way through high school and all the way through college. And after graduating from Iowa State, I, I kind of tried to get away for a little bit, but then it sucked me right back in and now I'm full time, so. Oh good, well so you have a real passion for it. Brian, let's talk about how that carpentry experience as a teen and beyond has helped you as a builder. Absolutely. I think it allows me to be very hands-on in the process. Um, I know exactly what's going on in every facet of the building process, especially the framing stages and the trim stages, which carpenter is. And so uh, it's not uncommon for me to actually pull a tool belt out of my truck on a job site and jump right in with my subcontractors and actually do some of the work right alongside of them. So it's a unique thing that I have with them as far as the relationship goes. So I, I think it kind of gives me a, an edge to be able to know exactly what's going on at all times. And Brian, every builder has a story, and part of your story goes with the name Covenant Homes. Absolutely. When I was going through trying to decide on a name for the company, I really wanted something that encompassed every area of my life, um, my faith, my family, and my business. And so the word covenant uh, in its meaning means a promise. And so that really helps me to encompass everything. My family, obviously my promise is to be a good husband, a good father. My faith is a promise to the person I believe in. And uh, in my business, what that really means is a promise and a passion that I bring to everybody's house that I build for them. And so you've brought that same passion to this expo home, which is for sale. So tell us a little yep. bit about that. Uh, yeah, it actually is a, a ranch home um, that we decided to do in this expo. And it's about 1,800 square foot finished on the main floor. And we're going to finish another 1,500 in the basement. So we're going to have about 3,400 square feet total finish. And the style of the home is really kind of French country meets Colorado, if you can believe it. Uh, very unique in the fact we're going to have a lot of exposed beams and timbers and a lot of kind of unique features that you would see like in a ski resort in Colorado. So it's going to be very fun. Sounds very exciting. Can't wait to see it. You can learn more about Covenant Homes on dmhomeshow.com. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you. We are at 111 City Lofts in downtown Des Moines, the old look building known for its cement ceilings and exposed ductwork. And we're with Carrie Norris and David Cruz and Scott Spetman, the Grand Homes and Renovations team. Now we're here to talk about your expo home and Carrie, this will be your personal home. It is. I love Altoona. I love the development. It's going to be a great house. Um, I'm a very busy mom. I work full time. I have two kids. So the layout of the house is going to be very functional. One of the reasons why you've invited us to the city lofts is because your new home is going to have a loft-like feel. It is. It's going to have the exposed deck work, hardwood floors, um, a very minimalistic feel to it. Carrie, you mentioned that you're a busy working mom. Tell us about some of the features that you're incorporating into this home. Well, coming in from the garage, there's a large mudroom with a laundry room right off the kitchen that holds a big island. Very open floor plan, open dining room, family room, um, nice big front foyer. All the bedrooms are upstairs, very handy, very functional. We're also very excited to incorporate some of the latest residential technology. What Carrie's talking about are some of the technologies that we can provide in an everyday house. Um, distributed audio, or what people call multi-room audio, uh, central vac, of course, security system, of course, but also control, lighting control, uh, security control, such as a, a door lock, and some of the sort of 
flare or sexier technology like touchscreens and things like that. And we can bring this down to a level that's much more affordable than uh, previously. We've done a lot of remodeling throughout Des Moines, small projects and large projects. We've been uh, very big participants with the tour of remodeled homes, um, but this is actually our first home show house, so we're very excited to bring some of the things we've seen around Des Moines and remodeled and bring it into this home. That is going to be wonderful. You can learn more about grand homes and renovations at dmhomeshow.com. Can't wait to see your home. Thanks so much. We are at the Enabling Gardens in Altoona talking with the Altoona Area Chamber of Commerce's Executive Director, Melissa Horton. And Melissa, a big reason why people buy homes where they do is location, location, location. And Altoona offers so many wonderful amenities. We do. Um, Altoona is we kind of pride ourselves on the different uh, aspects that we have here. A lot of people aren't aware of a lot of the things that we do here. The Enabling Garden for one. This is a garden that was developed in 2004 by our master gardeners and some volunteers that are strictly volunteer basis. Uh, they wanted to develop an area where people could come with disabilities and still be able to enjoy the garden. So this is one of the beautiful things about Altoona that we can enjoy and share with other people. And Vista Real Estate actually, who is our partner with uh, the Home Show Expo this year, was uh, one of the people that actually donated money towards this project. So we're very excited to have it and to showcase it today. And recreation is big here in Altoona too. We have over 200 acres of recreational space here in Altoona. Um, we have our Sam Wise Sports Complex that houses our soccer fields and our softball and baseball diamonds. We are building a new soccer complex just south of town here, Spring Creek, that will have 18 fields and a uh, championship synthetic field that we'll be um, utilizing hopefully for a national tournament of some kind. But then we also have over 17 miles of bike trails here in Altoona and with the uh, ability to uh, expand on that. So we're very excited. The nice thing about Altoona too is it has this small town feel to it, yet it's easy to get anywhere in Des Moines from here. That seems to be the, the biggest mix, misconception about Altoona is that it's so far out. Well, in all actuality, we're 20 minutes from anywhere. And Melissa, in addition to the enabling garden, you have this wonderful memorial garden right behind us. I think what's important to talk about about Altoona is that our community rallies together in a volunteer basis. This particular uh, garden is an example of that. Uh, Doug Tuber, one of our famous Altoona volunteers, uh, from the concept put this together. And this memorial honors our Korean and Vietnam uh, War veterans. And each one of the uh, veteran models that we have back behind us represents a community member that actually served in one of those wars. So um, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing for our community. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing for um, any kind of a veteran in the service. And we just are so tickled to have Doug be a volunteer to our community. Well, a wonderful spirit of community here in Altoona, a great place for this year's Home Show Expo site. Thanks so much, Melissa. Thanks, Sharon. We are at Willis Auto Campus in Urbandale, Des Moines' luxury car dealership, and we are here to demonstrate what a quick, easy drive it is to the Home Show Expo site in Altoona. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Sharon. Look what I found. That is beautiful. Yeah, we're traveling to the Home Show Expo site in style. Now we're taking Interstate 80 to exit 143 and heading south on First Avenue. But no matter what route you take, look for signs leading to the expo. And Brandon, our viewers can visit dmhomeshow.com for directions really from any other area. Well, there you have it, Sharon. Just under 15 minutes from virtually anywhere in the metro area. 
a short little drive, especially in a luxury vehicle such as this. It's been a great drive and there are 10 homes to see and a variety of home styles. This is going to be a great expo. Come see us July 22nd through the 31st. Now we still have some time before we have to get this car back. So how about we just keep driving for a bit? <laughs> that sounds great, Brandon. Excellent. that a good home has a strong foundation. And in the case of Ron Harmeyer, who is vice president of Ron's Homes, you grew up in this industry digging foundations. Yes, I did, Sharon. I started running heavy equipment for my grandpa at a young age and worked my way up through the company by doing siding, gutter, framing, tile, and now I'm working my way up into management. Well, the nice thing about that is you know those skills and you know what everything should look like so you can be on site checking the jobs and making sure they're done right. We are in one of your homes that is priced under $200,000 but you have some very nice features. Yeah we like to include this lighted art niche above the stairs that goes down to an open staircase to the basement and we also like to include um, trim above the slider and above the TV. We have full tile backsplash with granite countertops to kind of showcase the living room and kitchen area. Ron, your home show Expo Home is one of the most affordable homes in the show. Let's talk about what the features are. Uh, the outside of the house will have many different textures. It'll have hardy plank siding with stone on the front, um, varying uh, roof heights and a mixture of hip and gable roofs. And inside you'll have a very open floor plan and varying ceiling heights. Yes, we'll have 9 foot and 11 foot ceilings on the inside with Pella windows with blinds in the glass and we'll have a fireplace that has corables on it and um, it'll have three art niches, just a very nice inside. Outdoor living is important and you've included a nice back patio. Yes, it has a covered patio um, and it'll have a ceiling fan and can lights on it. Ron Harmeyer grew up in the business with Dad Mike and your grandfather all in the business. You have a wonderful story and you can learn more about Ron and his home at the expo at dmhomeshow.com. Thanks so much. Thanks, Sharon. We're here outside Prairie Meadows in Altoona with President and CEO Gary Palmer. Now, Gary, it's a bit uncharacteristically loud and busy outside Prairie Meadows. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Well, right now we're in the process of putting up a 179-unit hotel. It'll be one of the nicest hotels you'll find in the state of Iowa. We're very excited about that. We're adding about 15,000 more square feet of convention space as well with this new hotel. Well, it looks fantastic from out here. I can't wait to make my reservation. That's right. We can't wait for you to make your reservation. Now, Gary, uh, Prairie Meadows is title sponsor of Home Show Expo 2011, and the Home Builders Association of Greater Des Moines is uh, very thrilled to have you on as a partner. But Home Show Expo isn't the only organization or foundation that Prairie Meadows supports. Could you tell us a little bit about how the Prairie Meadows gives back to the community and Central Iowa in general? You bet. I'd be glad to. You know, we're a non-for-profit owned by the community, ran by a, a, a special non-profit organization, which is called Prairie Meadows Racetrack and Casino. We give all our net profits back every year to the community. We're probably one out of two in the world that give all the profits back at the end of the year to the community. We've been involved with Variety Club, United Way, Character Counts, so many nonprofits within our community since the, really the day we started that anything we can do that help economic development, jobs, tourism, we're in for it. We're, we're there and we're proud to be a sponsor this year of the Home Show coming to Altoona. Now, Gary, Prairie Meadows is not only title sponsor of Home Show Expo, but you've gone well above and beyond this year by also offering a $20,000 free room makeover to one of our lucky attendees. Can you tell us a little bit about that uh, contest? Well, we're going to have a little fun with this contest. When you go out and buy a paid admission to the Home Show, you bring that ticket back to Prairie Meadows and you'll be put into a drawing for a $20,000 room makeover. It's a great chance to do some remodeling in your homes. So come out to Home Show Expo 2011, July 22nd through the 31st in Altoona, Iowa. And be sure to bring your tickets back to Prairie Meadows and enter to win a once-in-a-lifetime $20,000 free room makeover giveaway. 
Gary, thanks so much for your time and we appreciate your sponsorship. You're very welcome, glad to do it. We're talking with Chad Hutchinson, who is the owner of True View Enterprises. And Chad, you've been building homes for 13 years, close to 200 homes under your belt. Tell us what you like about being a custom home builder. Well, I just enjoy the uh, the aspect of start to finish from it, and uh, you know we start them at the ground up, go all the way up till they're you know turnkey ready. So. Uh, customers, I, I feel like I've got a really good working relationship with them from start to finish again, but uh, I enjoy it. You know, I, I, uh, I went to school for a few years to do this, and, and that's kind of what I felt like I wanted to do, and I've been doing it for 13 years, and here I am still, so. And in those 13 years, you've maintained some wonderful relationships with your subs. Correct. 13 years ago, uh, I've got a concrete guy and a couple other subs that, that still work for me today, you know, so it's... Uh, uh, some of them have changed, but I think I've got some of the best subs out there that, that you can get your hands on. So, We're in a home that you've built, and there are some similarities in this home with the home that you're building at the Expo. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the Expo house is going to be roughly 1,800 and change square feet on the main floor, uh, 17 down, so a total of 3,500 square feet. Uh, similarities are, you know, granite countertops. We're going to do a lot of stone work to it, uh, tile, and uh, there there's... Uh, you know, going to be a lot of similar features to this, columns and, and uh, pillars, and it'll look nice. And you've incorporated so. some repeated archways here, and will those be in your home? Those will be in it. We'll also have a theater room inside of it. I uh, have an office on the main floor. It'll be uh, four bedrooms uh, with an office, nice master suite, three-car garage, and uh, fully equipped. So. And that home is for sale. Correct. It's ready to go. Chad, your Expo Walkout Ranch has four bedrooms and a craftsman-style finish to it. Now, you're a family man, and you like to design floor plans with families in mind. Correct. Every house I go into, I've got three kids myself and a wife, but uh, every house I build and I you know, have conversations with the guys that work on the house, I treat them as my own home. You know, So what would I like to see if I was going to live here? Sharon, I just want people to know that uh, yeah, I'm an on-site, hands-on builder. You know, it's uh, something that I do start to finish. So. Okay, well, you can learn more about True View Enterprises and Chad at dmhomeshow.com. And remember, this home is for sale. Thanks a lot, Chad. Yeah, thank you. We're here with Dan Knopp, president of the Home Builders Association of Greater Des Moines, and we're in Home Show Expo House Number 3 being built by Clarity Construction. This home is currently under construction, as you can see, as we've shot a bit in advance of Home Show Expo, but by the time you visit the site, this will be a wonderfully furnished home for viewing. This home will be complete and feature a European farmhouse style. Now, Dan, as president of the HBA of Greater Des Moines, I'm sure that you can provide some insight to the viewing public about what the HBA is as an organization. Well, sure. We're a 500-member organization of construction professionals, and we really like to consider ourselves the voice of construction in Des Moines. We provide our members with educational uh, opportunities. Uh, we provide their customers with the reassurance that uh, they're hiring someone that knows what they're doing. So Dan, tell us why it's important for a consumer to choose an HBA member company. Well, just as the Better Business Bureau is synonymous with a well-run business, the Home Builders Association is that same type of entity for our, for our industry. So Dan, can you explain to us then how Home Show Expo plays into the bigger picture from an HBA organizational standpoint? The show is our single largest fundraiser. So the community outreach that we're able to do, the educational opportunities that I mentioned earlier, we're able to do all of those because of the proceeds from this show. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Dan. I really appreciate it. And we encourage you to stop out to the Home Show Expo July 22nd through the 31st to see the latest in innovations, technologies, and designs. We're talking with Justin Bauer, owner of Clarity Construction. And last year, Justin, you were the walkaway winner at Home Show Expo. You won Best of Show. You won the most first place awards. And it's obvious this is a good thing for you to be in. And I'm sure that's why you're in it this year. Yeah, I had such success last year. I figured, why not try it again? And it's been great for my business. I'm new on my own just in the last two years and so that home show actually the home show was my first home I built on my own and uh, 
It obviously went pretty good, so we're going to keep with it. Let's talk about the home that you're building for the expo. Yes, it's going to be a story and a half. Um, I'm going to have a European country theme, and I think it's going to have a much different flair than I had last year, so I think people will be excited to see what's next. And let's talk about what separates you from other builders. You are very hands-on. There are a lot of things that you learned when you worked in the construction business before you became your own builder. Let's talk about what you learned. Well, I worked for a larger company before, and I worked there for six years and built over 300 houses. And when I went on my own, I wanted to be more hands-on. I wanted to give people more personal touch. Sometimes the bigger companies, you can get passed from person to person. You have different superintendents. And with me, you sign the contract with me. I'm the superintendent. I help you do the picks. And you're with me the whole time. And when he says he helps you do the picks, you're not talking <laughs> Prairie Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You're talking about selections. You guide homeowners through that process, and that's a really big deal. It is. Uh, building a house can be overwhelming for people. It's uh, some handle it very well, and others need, you know, some guidance. And uh, there's a lot of things that go into a house. I mean, you, you look around, look at all the thousands of pieces that go into a house, and to pick all of those things out, it, it can be daunting. But that's what I'm here for. Justin, your expo home is for sale, and there's a lot of value built into that home. There is. You know, vendors, not only is the home show a way for home builders to show their homes, vendors want their products in there. So they really kind of fight to try to get their product in your house. And so there's deals that come along with that, and that gets passed on to the homeowner. So it's a, it's a great value. Justin, thanks so much. Justin's expo home has close to 4,000 square feet of finish. Come and see that during the expo. In the meantime, go to dmhomeshow.com for more details on Clarity Construction. Thanks, Dustin. Thank you. We're here with Rich Willis of Willis Auto Campus, sponsor of Home Show Expo 2011. Rich, you've certainly been to and uh, participated in numerous home shows over the years, and I'm curious if you could tell us what you're, uh, what you're looking for when you walk through a home show, what you get most excited about. Well, Brandon, the variety is the, the most uh, fun to see. For a guy that's not a home builder, uh, to be able to go into a different home, see the personality of the builder themselves, the designer themselves, and they're so unique. And it's the personality of the builder, the designer, the homeowner, whoever contracted to have the house built. And, and that's the same parallel that we have in automobiles. Absolutely. You know, I, I noticed that uh, typically, you know, when homeowners are looking to purchase a home, uh, it's going to generally reflect their personality to some extent. And I suspect the same is true with, with automobiles. And what's uh, stunned me when I walked onto your dealership here is the, the vast amount of cars that you have and the variety of cars. Could you talk about that for a bit? Well, again, we have seven different franchises ranging from Cadillac and Lexus, uh, Infiniti, Jaguar, Land Rover, Volvo, and now Mini Cooper. And so talk about variety. There's huge variety there in those seven brands. And then with each one of those seven brands, each one of them has four to seven different models within. So talk about variety, talking about a personality, and then let's mix in color, let's mix in uh, special wheels or whatever it may be. We're right in the same parallel. You know, when you talk about uh, you selecting your, your, your home builder and the home that you're gonna buy, selecting what car you're going to buy to, to fit your personality, I suspect that there's also a lot that goes on on the back end of that purchase from a service standpoint and the people of Willis and uh, I know you have a great staff here. Could you talk about that briefly? Well, again, I think just like the person buying a home, it's who built the home and who's going to be there after. I believe very much that's the same mentality of the car buyer. Who's going to be there afterwards? And behind us, we've got 250 fabulous, dedicated people that are there to take care of you after the sale for service, whether it's free pickup and delivery of your automobile anywhere in the state of Iowa, to routine oil change, to tires, to collision center repair, uh, for a collision, anything it, that, that your automobile needs, that's what we're there to do. So we sell you an automobile, but then for the next three to five years of ownership, we're there also to take care of you. 
Well, thank you very much for your time today, Rich, and for also sponsoring Home Show Expo 2000. We appreciate it a great deal. Make sure you visit the Home Show Expo July 22nd through the 31st in Altoona, Iowa. We're at the Home Show Expo site Ironwood in Altoona talking with Justin Washburn of the Vista Real Estate Group and Vista Real Estate Group is developing this area. Let's start out with that. What was it that attracted you to this area to develop it for Expo? Sure, Sharon. Um, the Altoona area and this Southeast Polk uh, community, if you will, is, is very attractive for us. Um, there's many amenities that are uh, have been put in here recently within the last few years. Um, just to, to talk about the Southeast Polk High School, um, the Southeast Polk High School actually sits less than a mile away from this site. It's a $50 million school that was constructed and finished last year. Um, a Clay Elementary School, which is just down the road. Um, everyone's familiar with Adventureland, the water park there, um, the Prairie Crossing development with Bass Pro Shops. Um, there's just a lot of a new development and a lot of activity that's taking place in this Altoona and Southeast Polk um, community. And that's really what attracted us um, to this area. Well, Justin, I know the Home Builders Association of Greater Des Moines is grateful to Vista Real Estate Group for hosting this year's Home Show Expo at Ironwood Development. Well, we really appreciate the opportunity, Sharon. And if people would like to get more information on our company, they can go to our website, www.vistalots.com. Thanks a lot, Justin. Thank you. Sharon, this is sure to be a great home show expo. It will, Brandon. Ten homes will be open to the public for ten days straight. You'll be able to see a variety of floor plans and finishes, and the latest trends in home technology will be on display, too. And the architectural styles are so diverse, from European farmhouse and contemporary loft styles to French country, and of course we have traditional and clean contemporary too. And there will be food. The local favorite eateries here in Altoona will be serving food at the Expo. And we have to mention that everyone who attends Home Show Expo is eligible to win a $20,000 free room makeover cash giveaway generously donated by Home Show Expo title sponsor, Prairie Meadows. Our other sponsors include Willis Auto Campus, the Altoona Chamber of Commerce, KCCI TV8, and the Home Builders Association of Greater Des Moines. We'd also like to thank the Prairie Meadows TV production crew for producing this half hour TV special and doing a fantastic job. They did. We'd like you to know that you could go to dmhomeshow.com for all the details that you need for this year's Home Show Expo. We'll see you at the show.